you're probably here because you want to know how to sell a service for $100,000 or $200,000 or more. This can be websites, creative services, marketing services, depending on what you currently sell. How is it possible that some clients pay $250,000 for a website while other clients pay $10,000 for exactly the same website? So the reason I made this video is because I had a student last year who sold a website for 10,000 only later to find out that the agency that he sold the website to for $10,000 resold the website for $250,000. So it's the same exact implementation, exactly the same platform, exactly the same everything in terms of delivery, but 25 times more money. How is this possible? Well, before I go into that, let me just tell you that this is very common. And if you're currently running an agency or you're freelancing and you're selling something for say $5,000, it's very likely that the people you're selling it to, the business you're selling it to, makes a large profit on whatever you create for them, okay? And sometimes the buyer is another seller of the same thing, so you're a subcontractor essentially, and they're selling it as a service for 10 times more money or 25 times more money. This is common practice. You're probably doing this yourself in some way, and it's perfectly normal that some of the work you're doing or other people are doing is being leveraged and resold at a higher ticket. And in this video, I will share with you how to stop being the freelancer or the agency that is selling it cheap and to start selling it expensive. How to start selling it for the large amount of money that you deserve to get paid. So first of all, what does it really mean that you deserve to get paid this? How do we determine this? What is the logical way to come to this conclusion? And how can you make your business so profitable and so successful that this is a common occurrence, that this is perfectly normal for you? So what you need to look at to sell a website for $250,000 is how much value is it going to generate for the client? What is the leverage that this implementation is going to allow the client to have in his own business? So in a big sale like this, and we're gonna use websites because it's easy to explain, the company that would buy a $250,000 website is a company that's gonna make a lot of money from the $250,000 website. And all kinds of delays and broken things and security flaws and just hassle of communication that slow down the project and increase the opportunity cost for the client, all those types of things, all those types of issues are to be prevented with the amount of money that they're paying. And also the decision that they need to make is more important for them than for a smaller company. So they're willing to pay more money because someone who knows more about a subject matter and an implementation will guide and coach them on the correct way that successful companies have run projects like this in the past and made the amount of profit that this new business or existing business wants to make from their website. So once you have that figured out, which is not the most difficult thing in the world, once you have that figured out, uh, you can generate more value by doing and closing the sale with this client than by doing the same exact sale with a smaller client. So step one will be to find clients that can afford this amount of money because they are or ex are expecting to make 10, 100,000, a million times the revenue or the profit from what you're delivering to them, okay? Once you have that, of course, then it starts making sense to charge very large amounts of money. If you don't have that, if you're selling to someone who's just starting their first website, and they have a small budget for marketing, it doesn't make really, like, it's a huge risk for them, then the odds of you closing a sale like that decrease dramatically, okay? So let me explain some of the pieces of, or parts of value that a client gets for the $250,000 versus the client who pays $10,000 for the same thing. So first of all, they get the insurance that the website is secure to the most stringent, principles of security on the internet, okay? They're sure that there is a guarantee based on a long track record of the people creating the website 
that this is secure, solid foundation for their business and their investors are going to be able to put money into the business and get more money and in return out of the business. That's one part of what they're paying for. The second part of what they're paying for is a proven process of delivery that is hassle-free, saves time and money, and doesn't require them to keep arguing and messing around with decisions internally. Instead, they're gently and efficiently guided through a process where they just get the thing that they paid for without drama, without a hundred meetings, without any bullshit essentially. So that's now suddenly it starts making sense that someone would spend this much money versus not spending that and risking dealing with all that. Now, of course, how do you get to this position? Do you need to suddenly hire 20 people with that experience? Not really, because as I said, the same website was sold for $10,000 as for $250,000. So the knowledge was already inside the team that created it. It's just how was it delivered? In this situation, the, res the reseller of the service was in competition with multiple resellers. So the end buyer who paid the $250,000, they're not just paying for a single website. They're actually paying for a competition of multiple agencies that are working on various ideas of how to deliver this website. And then the buyer who's paying $250,000 is choosing from all the ideas, he's choosing the very best solution. That's how they get multiple agencies, really smart teams of people to compete and come up with the one best idea. And as a result, they pay a premium for this service. Essentially, they're paying for a bunch of ideas to compete with each other and for the best idea to come out on top. And the agents that are competing with each other for projects like this, they're actually charging a client way more because they need to compete on various projects to get one single sale for several months. So it actually makes sense for the agency to charge this much, even though their profit margin is very large, because it takes multiple applications, multiple competitions with multiple agencies for them to keep coming up with the best ideas to, get, to finally get that contract, right? Another thing the end buyer is paying $250,000 for is the fact they're not gonna have to get the knowledge internally, they're not gonna have to train teams, hire teams, retain teams, which is gonna cost them millions. They're not gonna have to do all these inefficient things that a large company would have to do to build something like that internally. It would take them months or perhaps years to build all the knowledge and all the skill to achieve this. Because it may seem easy or straightforward to you as someone who's in the industry, but for people outside of the industry who are mostly investors and managers of companies, they're not really looking at this one little tiny part of their business as the number one thing that they do. They're focused on the entire business. So they need someone to take a temporary executive role inside of their company, come in and just deliver a result. And for them, that is worth $250,000. And in fact, they would be scared to pay someone less than that because internally it would take millions of dollars to achieve the same result. So these are the logical reasons and they make sense, of course. However, there is also one other reason. So I can tell you right now that you can get a hundred or $250,000 sale without the competition and without some of the value that I just described. And that is if you sell something fairly unique, if everyone else is selling websites that are e-commerce websites, for example, but you are selling an optimization process along with the website, so it improves the conversion rates. And for every 1% of conversion rate improvement, that's already worth $250,000. If you have your own proprietary process that you follow that not just delivers the technical aspect, but delivers the marketing aspect on on-site optimization, suddenly what you're selling is not just a cookie cutter website. Suddenly it's a money-making machine for this big company that has a lot of money and guess what? They're looking for your 2%, 20% and 50% improvements that you've developed using your process. So now it starts making sense for you to talk to business owners that are running companies like that and prove to them that your proprietary improvement, optimization and delivery process 
is unique, one of a kind, and cannot be competed with. Now they're gonna not just pay you $250,000, they can even give you equity in their company. Yes, it is possible to get equity in a business if you sell websites. Now here's a bonus, okay? Here's how to make the deal even sweeter. So on top of the $250,000, they, let's say they don't give you equity, they give you a certain amount of money every year to maintain it. And you would potentially think, okay, well maintenance, you know, it's fairly cheap, a couple of hundred bucks per month. Well, in a business doing tens of millions of dollars on the platform that you've built for them, there's gonna be a significant amount of maintenance that is required, keeping up with current technologies, with current legal obligations on how privacy is handled on websites and all that kind of stuff. It's pricey, you're gonna to have to have experts on your team and you can charge serious premium money for this. It's not too complicated if you're in the industry. It's not too complicated if you're constantly immersed in projects like this and you have like 10 clients like that going on at any given moment. So essentially what you can do is you can sell the $250,000 website and then you can maintain relationships with all the clients you sell this to and keep delivering a working solution to them year after year after year. And they're gonna make hundreds of millions of dollars on the platform that you've built for them. So they don't have to worry about the technical aspect and they can focus on being whatever business that they are without worrying on the tech, without hiring tech people, without having offices for tech people, without having HR for tech people, without having pension plans for tech people. They can just focus on doing what they're good at. And this is big business. If you wanna join in and join the ranks of companies selling huge projects like that, the outcome can be millions, not just $250,000. So that's the solution, guys. I know a lot of you are selling websites for five, maybe $10,000. Some of you are selling websites for $1,000. Well, if you wanna upgrade and you wanna have a solid team of implementers and you wanna talk to clients that have a multi-month sales process, where they wanna make the best decision. And if you're patient enough for that and you have a long-term vision like this, you can build an agency or a service business that is a multi-millionaire business. This is the solution. So what I have for you next is how to sell to the ultra wealthy, which ties into the subject we just discussed. Here's the video, check it out. It's gonna really help you because you're gonna understand how to talk to business owners like that or managers like that. So take a look at that video here. Also, I'd like you to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and the little bell notification icon if you found this valuable. And I'll see you in this video right here on how to sell to the ultra wealthy.